This is an experiment of the piezoelectric effect when voltage is applied to quartz crystal. In our case, we have a little wafer here, crystal wafer. Let me get a little closer. That's sitting between a needle and our conducting point. We also happen to have two coils. This is where the voltage is being applied. Currently there is no voltage turned on. Then we live filter the output here and then we hear the results. This is what we've been experimenting with lately, kind of on the sly, just to kind of learn, teach myself. Here's what happens when you apply voltage. You turn the output on. You hear the switching that's occurring, the gating that's occurring on the computer. When voltage passes through the crystal, it is conducted. Since crystal is a semiconductor. As we increase the voltage, we notice that the oscillations also increase. For those of you that experiment with ITC, you'll notice that at this point, we have what sounds awfully similar to voice. We have fluctuations occurring at what appears to be somewhat random intervals here on the crystal itself as voltage is applied to it and passes through it, causing it to vibrate. And when using the noise reduction techniques that I've been using for a long time now, we get to zoom in and look a little closer. Cool thing about these programs is I get to change the pitch and everything else. Here's how it sounds naturally. Let's see, if we look at the sound, we'll see that what we are hearing producing audio um, quite low down in the male voice range somewhere around a little under 200 Hertz there's the gating that's happening the forward voltage passes through the crystal we're gonna increase this a little bit <clears throat> And now we got more of a steady stream. I liked it better how it was a second ago, but it doesn't take very much voltage to create these effects. So we've been experimenting with them for voice, trying to receive voice, or trying to produce a condition where voice can be impinged upon the crystal or the experiment itself. But that's the essence of it. All it is is really applying electricity to a crystal, which causes it to vibrate, oscillate, resonate, and there it is. It's that teeny little thing. I shouldn't do this, but what happens if I pull this pin up? Right. 
not gonna miss the experiment up. That's it for now.